Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Sims Medieval, here in Moss Stone Kingdom, where none other than the illustrious Lady Briar Rose the Great, our wonderful queen, has just gone into the forest to hopefully successfully hunt a great bear who has been terrorizing the local peasantry. She thankfully is a really good fighter, and oh, I love it, she's about to level up to a level 11 monarch, which will make her like just really good at taking care of everyone. Uh, and she does happen to have some good armor, some monarch's armor and a good long sword equipped. So she should be fairly safe. Oh, I, did, I forgot to sharpen it. Ah, she should be fairly safe for whatever shenanigans the bear might get up to in the forest. But once she finishes up that, we will be wrapping up our second of the responsibilities that the queen has to take care of for her royal duties today. And we can carry on with her real passion, being able to hunt the the carnivorous whales that ate her parents and her older brother, the original heir of the kingdom, uh, in the fishing competition. So we actually need to go and talk to Fisherman Barney, who is supposed to be full of all sorts of interesting ideas on how to catch good fish. As soon as we finish up with this, and I love that our servant, Inesetta, who is evil but also like still does her job and complains about it the whole time but still does her job, is, um, is coming to check on us. Briar Rose tracked down a large black forest bear to its feeding ground. Surprising the animal, she dispatched the furry honey lover with a single blow, carrying out four choice chunks of bear meat to take home. Oh, excellent. Really sad that we had to do that. At least Inesetta will be able to hopefully make something of all of this. Um, ooh, that's actually $220, yes. Let's go ahead and earn that. We'll say it's like gratitude from the servants who took care of everything. Let's also go ahead and uh, maybe tell a quick joke to the guard who's nearby, just because we managed to finish up. He is our guard, and he is patrolling at the edge of the forest. Oh, and actually, let's come over and let's patrol. And we're gonna patrol the road. Ooh, look at all these places we can go ahead and patrol. We're gonna patrol the road to Tridany to keep their loyalty up just while we're here. Where else can I patrol to? Wow! Okay, so patrol is not available for uh, the, some of the other areas. I wonder how you determine how you can actually d not only discover these new areas, but make it so that they they become colored in and like spots that you're in charge of too. Huh. Can't patrol to Yakchovi, but we can go ahead and we can actually send a patrol to Tridini. Let's do that because we just got a bank going in Tridini last time. And even though it seems like a weird thing to focus on, getting those politics up really helps us because you want to be able to keep their loyalty going. I hope that's not messing up the war efforts too much though. Is there anywhere I can see the war efforts? Achievements, kingdom mode, territory map. War effort gauge, there we go. It's in favor of the pirates at the moment. Okay. Well we'll have to we'll have to see how that goes, but look, Her Royal Majesty has some things to do right now. Primarily fishing. Whoa! Ah Holy cow, that was a lot of celebratory music. Congratulations, Briar Rose has improved as a monarch. She will gain more money per day and will be more successful at profession interactions. A monarch's soul is the sole ruler of the land. Great responsibility falls on the Sim as his or her leadership and decisions affect everyone in the kingdom. So she actually has two bonus levels now. So she's actually, oh my goodness, that means she's like a level 12 monarch. She's one of the best monarchs we've ever had. And that means that she should be earning a lot of money in taxes every day, passively. I think we need to collect taxes, maybe. Oh, what's going on? Uh, on our patrol, we found this. Lady Briar Rose, the illustrious, was enjoying her little forest ramble when she came across a damp, overgrown meadow bisected by a tinkering brook. This is exactly where Belladonna grows, she thought to herself. Should we dig around? It always takes a little while to find rare belladonna, and it's it was messy work, but it was the perfect location to find the treacherous root. Lady Briar Rose the Illustrious could probably find a bunch. Or should we keep going? Actually, hunting for hidden, er hidden herbs was drudgery best suited to dirty peasants and hermits. Lady Briar Rose the Illustrious could always buy belladonna in the village anyway. No, 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 we're gonna dig around. She's totally earthy and loves that. 
Lady Briar Rose, the illustrious, jumped from puddle to puddle through the soggy bog, forcing her way through the thick reeds and bramble, digging root after root, whistling merrily to herself. The hard work paid off with a rich harvest of rare belladonna roots. She even got lucky and plucked some semi-precious stones from their tingled roots. Cool, so we got the herbalist buff, we have nine belladonna, and we have the adamantal. Nice! That is a rare thing! Cool! I wonder if we can give it to our, either our mage or our blacksmith. And I think the belladonna would probably be really useful to go to our, um, to go either to our wizard or our physician, probably. All right, well, she's feeling fantastic. Let's go visit with, uh, uh, like, Barney now and do a little bit of fishing. All right, on my rats. Ah, here, we'll just go wait for her way over by the beach. All right, there's Barney. Can I can I look at this? Oh, we have a high success chance of a will hunt. We might actually do that today. That might be really fun. All right, so Lady Briar Rose the Great. All right, she's almost there. We might actually try doing a whale hunt really quickly. That would be a really big fish, don't you think? But let's kind of discuss the competition with Barney first. Let's see what he has to say. All right. All right. What do you have to say, Barney? Give me more advice. Oh, lass, I didn't think the trout would win. The trout's merely bait for a larger fish, a much larger fish. I'm talking whale here. Are you up for the challenge? Yes, we are. What the heck? Yes, let's do this. Absolutely. That's what she wanted all along. I can't believe I'm really going whale hunting with this tiny thing. Oh, well, to the docks. Oh my goodness. So now we actually are going to go whale hunting. I, I can't believe it. This is exactly what she wanted to do, though. Good choice, girl. You know, a whale was responsible for my parents' death, and I've never forgiven those beastly fishes. Anyway, the first thing you'll need is a proper whaling harpoon. Fortunately, most village shops carry them. Thankfully, we already have that. Like, she is ready for this. You had no idea. Now we have to go ahead, and we need to go ahead, discuss whale hunting. We need to share a whale story, the tragic backstory. Fisherman Milan? What happens if we share our whale story with him? Will he understand the trials and tribulations? Also, I think we have so many boosts going on right now. Our whale rage is also satisfied. All right, let's go ahead and do the whale hunting while we still have the, the high odds of success. I don't know if I've ever done this with the queen before. It must have been in her younger days, if we did. The younger days that I don't remember at the moment. So let's see if she's going to be successful, because this is this is kind of exciting. All right. Good luck. Good luck, Lady Briar Rose, against these dangerous carnivorous whales that patrol our seas. And we're off. Oh boy. I don't know how this is going to go, and I kind of want to do some exploring to the islands afterward, but we'll see. After an epic struggle on the high seas, Lady Briar Rose the Illustrious and crew defeated the whale! <gasps> what? I don't know if I've ever done that before! And meanwhile, of course, Sea Dog Casey is just kind of patrolling on the beaches. Oh, look at this! Oh! <gasps> The skies grew stormy and the seas rough as Lady Briar Rose, the illustrious, uh, illustrious' ship left port. She knew this would be a perilous journey one way or another, but days passed without sign of the whale, and Briar Rose was beginning to regret trusting Fisherman Barney. Oh, look at the sky! Suddenly, a great whale splashed into view. The massive creature was barreling straight for the starboard bow and would crush the ship, unless... Lady Briar Rose, the illustrious, leapt into action. She raced to the railing, took aim with her harpoon, and readied the throw. Woo! We did it! All right, so now we can go ahead. Barney will hear of my exploits. Tell a well story to Fisherman Barney. And it's time to get the prize. Tell Royal Advisor Paula about the whale story. I totally want to do that. I think we're definitely going to win now. We could do another whale hunt. Um, oh, look at that, the whale trophy! And we do have choice cuts of whale meat. Oh my gosh, you get so much. 
Oh my word! All right, and now that means that Lady Briar Rose the the Great can eat the the carnivorous evil whale. Um, also, I want to go ahead and use the map to sail to Effenmont real quick. Like, where is Effenmont? We'll say that she bumped into Effenmont while whilst we were out and about. Yeah, it's not even listed, and I want to be able to go to Gastrobury, um, but I don't know how. So, you know what? I, I might have... I might unlock Gastrobury next. And we're gonna go ahead and sail to wherever we're going. Because I think it'll be fun to let Lady Briar Rose do a little bit of adventuring. There we go. Okay, so the fog bank was huge. You have been sailing through it for hours when suddenly a lookout began screaming. A derelict pirate ship aimlessly drifted into sight. And so we're going to say this is all part of her big whaling adventure. She didn't come back yet. Gazing upon the ghastly forms floating around the derelict's deck, a grim realization came upon you. You've stumbled upon a ghost ship. Should we board the ship? I ain't afraid of no ghosts. There's bound to be loot over there. Let's board it. Or should we bomb them? Nothing good can come from this. I say we load the canyons and blow the ship up from a range. It's the only way to be sure. Oh my word. I mean, her parents were lost at sea. Maybe she would want knowledge about them. And she's a pretty good fighter. So let's board the ship. Okay. After boarding, no trades took place during the voyage for shame. Aw, was I supposed to figure out how to do trading? After boarding the ghost ship, the ethereal captain glided up to you and your first mate and grimly asked, are you the watcher? Um, no, your first mate replied. This did not go over well with the ghost crew. In fact, they hurled lightning and slime at you. Slimy lightning. With high, while hightailing it back to your ship, you yelled to your first mate, if someone asks you you're the watcher, you say yes. Good advice, really. And now we received the slimed buff. You feel sticky. Oh, so now we're slimed from having <laughs> having done that. But it was fun. It was definitely fun. All right, so that's what happens. Use map to sell to effing month. You know what? We're going to go ahead and we're going to be a little bit sneaky. And I'm going to actually... Oh, there's effing month! It wasn't there a minute ago! What? That was so cool! So effing month... The elves have been pushed to the brink of extinction by the War of the Weeping Willow and have retreated to the island of Effenmont. Oh, it's Gardana's family! They are a solitary people who care more for the health of their surroundings than money and prosperity. You guys, since that place literally just showed up, oh my word. Let's go ahead and say that we got washed up on the shores there before we ended up having to face off against the carnivorous whale, which I don't think the elves would really be happy with us for, but let's totally make them an ally now. Look at that! And now the elf lord Darnell of Elfenmont will actually come in. And look, actually meats! So imports are meats, and then we can trade Tablet of the Watcher for Magical Staff and dark stones for flame sword enchantment, benefits. An ally of the elves can learn a secret potion that allows them to go days without sleeping. <gasps> potion of energy can now be created. Oh, our physicians and our wizard are gonna be able to do really cool things. And pressing issues. While they do not usually welcome outsiders, a royal marriage will solidify their hard earned loyalty. A royal marriage to the elves with her royal majesty? Boom! Just as we were thinking that she was getting a little bit lonely. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I love how all of these things can happen even when you don't expect it to. Okay, we already discovered uh, discovered Gastrobi, so we can go ahead and sell that map. Um, now we have a ton of money. <gasps> Let's patrol the high seas one more time and say that we got washed up on the shores of of Effenmont and we could really solidify their loyalty with a political marriage, which would be kind of cool. But let's unlock Gastrobury as well. So we're going to say we left there to go hunt the whale and then her royal majesty. And we're going to patrol the seas again in order to kind of like reflect that. All right, so we're patrolling the seas again. We left the elves island, and then we're gonna say we ended up getting washed up on Gastroby on our way searching for this whale. All right, this is exciting. Nothing happened on that patrol. Curses, I was hoping something exciting would happen, but that's fine. 
All right, so now let's go ahead and unlock Gastrobe for five RP. And of the fine food and advanced agriculture, Gastrobe's annual gastro feast is attended by those near and wide. The Gastronomicon, an ancient book of cooking techniques and recipes, is passed through the ages with care and respect. We now can visit with Master Chef Jean of Gastrobury. We can import fruits and vegetables. We can trade boar meat for sausage, bear meat for sausage, fowl meat for sausage, rabbit meat for sausage, venison for sausage, the watched watcher for dark stone, unicorn meat for dark metal fragments. Ah! And now uh, we have some benefits from being allied with them. Gastrobe's cooking techniques help make food taste better and last longer. So now we have plus 100% spoil time, plus 100% food buff time, and we've unlocked three gastro sausage recipes. Pressing issues. Poor rainfall this year has threatened gastrofeast. Help gastrofe save their precious festivals. So the gastrofeast or bust quest has now appeared for annexing it. Oh, so you can annex the different places by taking over the pressing issues. That makes so much more sense now. I can't wait to work with the queen. This is going to be so cool. All right, but she's back. She's hungry. We've got a bit of whale meat. Let's come over and tell the whale story. Oh, that was so exciting. A royal elf marriage? My head is spinning. Look, and here's the master chef. The master chef herself has arrived. Oh, my gosh. And now we have hunted the whale. <gasps> Trade swapper? Oh my gosh, Yersim has reached a point in life where their fatal flaw can be evolved into a legendary trait. Really? Even though she woke up more rose? That is so cool. This is just so fitting for her. So choose one of three legendary traits shown and then accept to swap them out. Oh my gosh. So we can actually take their morose and we can actually change her morose trait out for natural leader. Natural leaders are admired and looked up to by other Sims, and they know how to inspire and encourage everyone around them. Or we could do industrious. Industrious Sims have got it made. Money flows into their pockets like a river into the sea. The question is what to do with all the cash. Give some back to the people or squeeze them dry. Or her 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 Herculean, uh, like the myth mythological heroes of old, her Herculean, ah, her, her, ah, ah, very strong Sims, possess great physical prowess and are nigh unbeatable in combat and sports. Not that one. A natural leader would be kind of good, admired and looked up to by other Sims, and they know how to inspire and encourage everyone around them. That would be kind of good, but I kind of feel like Lady Briar Rose, she's not, she's a little shy. And I kind of feel like she's better at, at manipulating things behind the edges. She's not really like a super easy going natural leader. Um, in fact, actually, if she could have a marriage to somebody who was more charismatic, she does her job. She does her job well, but she wants to do her job and then be left alone to do her own thing. Hmm. Natural leader. Inspire and encourage everyone around them. Industrious. I feel like industrious would help because then she could put the money back into the kingdom, technically. But we have a lot of money. Hmm. 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 But I just feel like she's really shy. You know? So we're going to go with industrious because she's always more focused on trades and things like that. So let's do that. There we go. So industrious, your sim earns significantly more money from their profession and they can give money directly to other sims as charity. <gasps> okay, that fits her very well. Oh, lass, my eyes are stinging and it isn't just the seawater. You've done an old salt proud. Oh my gosh, I love this. Let's go ahead and we're going to tell the well story to advisor Paula. I love this. In fact, can we actually, can we give him trait? We can donate money to him too. Okay, you know what? Let's donate some money to him and see does that like affect our relationship with him? For the better? We're gonna give him some money as a reward. This is very fitting. Yeah, look at that. Now he's like, oh, you're so friendly. All right, let's discuss whale hunting really quickly. And then, oh, here's the little wooden horse we carved. Fine. I didn't know I could sell that for money. All right, that's excellent. Now let's go ahead and tell the whole story to advisor Paula. It has been a good day. We have made a little bit of a friend out of Fisherman Barney. We will speak to him again in the future. More and more characters are beginning to come to our lands as we are 
learning more things. And let us finish this, this grand saga. There we go. What do you think, Paula? Oh my, that's quite a story. I assume you have proof? Yes? Well, I just have to declare you the winner, Lady Briar Rose the Illustrious. Congratulations. And there we go, friends. So apparently we are now the winner of the challenge. Yay? Oh, yay! <laughs> Quest completed. All right. So we have completed with gold quality. The uh, With the aid of the industrious fisherman, Lady Briar Rose the Illustrious won the fishing competition. She received uh, much uh, alteration and platitude, at least among the fishing community of Moss Stone. Who will win next year? And so now she has once again improved it as a monarch, a whole experience level. I love that so much. We have got a whole bunch of money and the kingdom actually gained a little bit more well-being and culture, which is wonderful. Oh, look at that. I'm so glad now she's a level 13. Oh, that was a really wonderful quest to start us back off in this land. And it also gave us enough RP that we can come over and we can go ahead and build ourselves the lighthouse. The well-being is still very low here, but we can build ourselves the lighthouse to celebrate, like, keeping an eye out for those carnivorous whales. Uh, and then, oh, or do we want 60 RP for the, hmm, I want the lighthouse. That's what I want. So let's get the lighthouse built now. There we go. Yay! A rather curious looking building, the lighthouse is located on the most easterly port of town. The tower has an internal light that acts as a beacon for passing ships. Excellent! So now we have done that, and now we need like 20 more RP, and then we could actually get the Jacobian Cathedral down. But I have to admit, I'm kind of tempted to focus on like the territory stuff for a little while. This is a little bit more addicting than I thought things would be. And I think I'm really, 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 really curious about that political marriage quest that we stumbled on. The territory of Fmont was politically weak and needs a strong ally. The twin heirs to Fmont throne were of marriageable age and would make a good match for a monarch looking to gain power. <gasps> that might be really exciting. We could either seduce or we could outmaneuver. Oh my gosh. And either way, we would gain a little bit more knowledge and a little bit more RP. And I'm just really excited about this. So all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. If you would like to follow along on this and literally thousands more, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.